Hey everyone, it's no secret that the Oracle of Omaha, Warren Buffett, is attracted to stocks that generate strong profitability, strong cash flow, demonstrate an economic advantage, demonstrate pricing power, and that supports a dividend and a growing dividend yield. So in this video, I'm going to highlight one stock that demonstrates many of those characteristics, and you can understand and we can discuss why Warren Buffett likes this dividend stock so much, but also this is one dividend stock that you can buy for 2024 and beyond. So let's get right into it. Let's see what that is. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. So the stock I'm talking about is Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola is the dividend stock that Warren Buffett owns in his Berkshire Hathaway portfolio and has owned it for a long time, uh, more than a couple of decades. And this is one stock that demonstrates pricing power. Let me show you how Coca-Cola has demonstrated that in this inflationary period. So what I have here is a chart of Coca-Cola's revenue and volume, right? So revenue and unit, right? Typically, the economic relationship is that when price goes up, demand goes down. That's what I teach in Econ 101 to all my university students. Every year, every semester, we go over that supply and demand. I teach that to all incoming freshmen in economics. Look at what Coca-Cola was able to demonstrate in its most recent quarter. In its Europe, Middle East, and Africa geography, Coca-Cola increased prices by 19% and unit volume only decreased by 1%. In Latin America, Coca-Cola increased prices by 15% and unit case volume actually increased by 7%. In North America, Coca-Cola increased prices by another 5% after several rounds of increases before and unit case volume was flat. Now, you can relate to this when you've gone to the supermarket and you've seen Coca-Cola's products, compare how expensive they are today versus how expensive they were in 2019. Prices have gone up meaningfully and unit case volume has not gone down by all that much. Now, this is partly supported by Coca-Cola's market share in away from home channels. Coca-Cola has spent decades cultivating relationships with merchants, with theme parks, with concerts, with vendors, and thereby has gained a strong market share in places like restaurants and theme parks and so on. Think of its relationship with McDonald's, right? You won't find Pepsi at McDonald's. You find Coca-Cola. Think of its relationship with Disney. You don't find Pepsi at Disney's theme parks, you find Coca-Cola, at least in Disneyland, that's all you will find. And so those relationships have helped as consumers have spent more money going outside, spending more money away from home, where Coca-Cola has a dominant market share, where consumers are likely to continue that trend in 2024 as well. I don't think this unleashing of pent up demand to get out of the house to spend more time and money outside of the house. I don't think that's done. After all, we spent nearly two, some some people three years locked down at home where we couldn't go out. Many outside entertainment ven venues were closed. And so people are making up for lost time. I don't think it's done. I think there's room to go for that trend. According to all economic indicators that I see, it suggests this trend will continue. And that's gonna be great news for Coca-Cola stock investors. And you can see that with analyst expectations for Coca-Cola for fiscal year 2024 and 2025, they expect, the consensus analyst expects that revenue will grow by 3.4% for Coca-Cola in 2024 and 5.2% in 2025. Now this is above average revenue growth for Coca-Cola. Typically Coca-Cola will not grow revenue in the mid single digits like this. It's typically in the lower single digits. 3% is usually a good year of revenue growth for Coca-Cola. So these last three years, 5.6% in 2023, when it's all said and done, 3.4% 24, 5.2% in 25. Those are all robust numbers for Coca-Cola, given the market trends, given the away from home 
enthusiasm for spending. That's all paying off for Coca-Cola. Earnings per share is expected to grow by 4.4% and 6.9% in 2024 and 2025 respectfully. Now, these are all good signs for dividend stock investors because a company must generate strong earnings per share to support a dividend payment. You cannot pay a dividend per share that's above your earnings per share for very long. That's similar to a household spending more money than they bring in. Now, you could do that for a little while, right? You can borrow on the credit card or you can dip into your savings to support your lifestyle even when income drops temporarily. But you can't do that, you know, for the long term. Eventually, you can't borrow anymore and you run out of savings and you're going to have to decrease your spending. That's the same, same with companies. When their earnings per share falls, they can support a dividend for a little while through borrowing, through dipping into savings. Longer term, though, they need that earnings per share. And so it's good news for investors that Coca-Cola does deliver that. So now let's look at its dividend yield. That's what passive income investors are excited about, right? That dividend yield. Uh, uh, oftentimes, I think passive income investors focus too much on the dividend yield. They think the dividend yield is the indicator to look at when making a dividend stock investment. More so, the dividend yield is a result of all of these other things that I'm going to show you that results in a strong dividend yield. It's the profit growth that turns into a strong dividend yield, right? It's the market share, the pricing power, the competitive advantage. All of that is what supports a dividend payment, which then creates that dividend yield. So don't pay too much attention to the dividend yield. Pay more attention to all of these other factors that I'm discussing here. Nevertheless, Coca-Cola does have a 3.14% dividend yield, which is a, a solid dividend yield. There are better and there are worse. So it's right in the middling range for dividend yields for investors. Notably, however, Coca-Cola has demonstrated excellent cash flow from operations growth over the last decade, increasing it from around $10 billion all the way up to 11.88 billion and in the last four years especially you can see that cash flow from operations trending nicely upward and given those those macroeconomic factors we discussed it's likely to continue at least over the next year or two on this trajectory additionally coca-cola has demonstrated excellent profitability the operating profit margin has jumped to 28.45%. That's up from less than 24% in 2014. Every year, Coca-Cola just gets a little bit better at doing what it does. Every year, it learns its customers better. It learns what customers like, when they want the products they want, where they want the products. And so over the years, Coca-Cola has gotten better and better and better. And now it's a mature company with strong profitability and strong cash flow that's demonstrated sticky behavior from consumers, right? Even though they've increased prices so much in the last two to three years, people have kept buying Coca-Cola because it's such a habitual product. You just buy it, you consume it. You don't often look at the price that's increased maybe 15 cents or 20 cents or 25 cents. You get annoyed, but you still buy it according to Coca-Cola's results that we've seen so far. And finally, Coca-Cola stock is not very expensive. It's trading at a forward price to earnings of 20.89, right about the average valuation it's traded for according to this metric going back to 2020. So you're getting a stock that's demonstrated pricing power. It's got competitive advantages. The macroeconomic trends are working in its favor. It's growing its cash flow, increasing its operating profit margin. You can start to see why Warren Buffett really likes this stock. And you can start to understand why I'm recommending this dividend stock as a buy going into 2024. Thank you for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. I know there's a lot you could be doing with your time and a lot of other videos you could be watching. So I truly appreciate that you chose to watch this one. If you want to see more videos just like this, hit the subscribe or the like button. They'll both help me make more videos just like this one. Thank you again.